Oh wait, sorry, double screen. Why am I minoring an electrical? Because I only need to take like one class extra uh, to have the electrical engineering minor. Okay, you need to stop going for this. <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> like, I get it, it's cool. But like, just slam up there. What are you blocking? Okay. This is probably like diamond, I think. Yeah, I see, I see, that's me. That's me. You play very interestingly. Like, I feel like you shouldn't be getting away with like, the stuff you're doing, but... Why, why aren't you shooting the diva? <laughs> or what is happening in this game? Why are you just standing still? Go high ground. Like imagine if you were there on the high ground before- now you have to take it from them. Okay, well they didn't walk up for some reason. I don't know why, but they didn't. Okay, here, like, yes, you are engaging onto five people, but there's a way better way to do this. You just, you just do your seismic slam and punch, and then you punch them into this wall. You're back. Okay. Uh, there, you engaged onto, like, ten people by themselves. Uh... Or by yourself. Like, there, there's a way better way of doing it. Like, you just, you ch you do your seismic slam here, midair, and then, like, you can charge your punch on the way up. You have to, like, angle it correctly, though. You can, you can aim it, like, here. And then if you slam and hold right click, uh, you should go high enough. And then when they walk out, you'll punch them all into the wall. And then you have your ult. But instead, you just, like... You slam directly on top of them. Like, of course you're just dead here. You always need to be, like, lining people up with the wall. Dorado's, like, really difficult, because there's just so much high ground. But you kind of just need to keep doing that with your Empowered Punch. Like, here, you want to do the same thing. You just slam and try and punch someone into this wall. That's that's like how you have to play this map. It's it's difficult, but it's what you have to do. And you're kind of you're kind of doing it, but you're not lining them up correctly. And you're also you have way too much airtime, which allows them to like try and sleep you. You want to like hide under here, walk up here, and then do it from here. It's difficult, but I mean that's how you have to play this. Weaver fever. Bro, he's not that good, bro. I mean, he's decent. He's going for like rollouts out of the spawn. What do you mean? He's he can do it. I believe in him. I mean, that's kind of how you have to play this map. I, I don't know, like. That's how you have to do it. And you can slam up here, but you're not going to get much value because your whole team's just low ground. You're, you're going to be alone fighting a 1v3. But you need to contest the high ground. Like, you have to. 
So your best chance is, is doing this. Do you think this much when you're playing? I mean, it's just automatic. I mean, if I'm off stream, I'll be thinking more than when I'm on stream. When I'm on stream, I'm just distracted half the time. You ever think about me? All of the time, she's not. You should also, you, I don't know if this is just like a practice thing or you're doing this like on purpose, but like try to, try to land your slam, try to make it so that your slam goes just high enough to hit the, to hit the ledge. Otherwise you just have like a bunch of air time and like it allows people to react. So. Just try and do that more. I mean, yeah, you, you just need to get used to it. it happens. Fine. I mean, you're going for the supports, which is what you should be doing, so, good job. How did you not hit her? How did that not hit her? Did she teleport? Oh, this is so messy. <laughs> what did their honor just leave? Oh my, nice old. You can kill her, you can kill her. Go slam behind her and punch her into your team. She just bashed into you. Bro, if Brig uses bash like this, it's just a free kill, actually. Like here, I'm, I'm like baiting her in, I'm backing up here. And then I'm, I'm slamming like right behind her and then punching her into my team here and she's just dead. Didn't think of that. Against Brig, you need to be, you need to be keeping track of her bash. That's like the only, I mean, her whip is also kind of important, but I don't really, I mean, you don't need to keep track of whip. But Bash is super important because she can just, I mean, that's her movement as well as like she can counter pin you. So if she just wastes it, like a lot of the times you can just kill her. Like if you saw my last game, their, their Brig waste Bash so much and she just died so much because of it. I like how much you're going on their supports. Very good. I don't know how this game lasted 27 minutes when the first round is 7, but we'll see. 
I have a feeling you're just gonna tunnel vision their tank here. Which, I mean, it's kind of understandable because they're just playing on a brig and it's like... But I mean, at this rank, there is gonna be openings. It gets a lot harder, like, when they're playing perfectly. <laughs> like, I hate playing it's on a brig so much. They just... At high rank, they just play perfectly. I can't do anything. But if they waste abilities and do stuff, you can definitely go on their back line. Stop the pain. Or this is why you let them cap all the way. Back up, back up. Nice. I mean, there you just need to be blocking earlier. You took way too much damage. If you block earlier here, you're mostly okay. I mean, you're just low. I mean, I, I would go for this punch, but you just need to block like instantly. The, the melee really sealed the deal there. Like, melee... <sighs> It's. I hate that you can't uh, animation cancel melee with block, but it is what it is. I can get cheesy kill in the same. Yeah, yeah. I get it. You, you need to be blocking earlier. Like, especially... Did you get slack? Short-term memory loss. Hey, you did. Like, here, why are you not blocking instantly? You should be buffering your block, like, as soon as you wake up here. Either buffer your block as soon as you wake up, or get ready to slam out. Like, yeah. You know you can just hold down your shift button or your, your block button, right? So as soon as you wake up, you'll be pressing it. You know, maybe this isn't Diamond Masters. I feel like you might be GM. Because you're really not playing that badly. But I don't know. I don't know, there's some things, like, you, you're not taking high ground, like, automatically, that makes me think it's not jam. Actually, yeah, this is this is probably Diamond or Masters, I don't think this is jam. Wait, they capped? I didn't even notice. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it's because you slammed out! You slammed out! That sucks. Use hold to block so you don't have to... No, it's not hold to block. I said buffer your primary. You just hold... Hold the button down. It's... I don't have hold to block. I have toggle block. It's just that to buffer the block so that you use it like right as you wake up. You hold it down. You need to be- you need to care of their brig more. 
Like, if she's ulting, you can't be in the fight. You're just dead. I tend not to realize how low I am a lot. That happens to me as well sometimes. Especially if you're like right over half HP, where you don't have like the blood on your screen. But I miss everything. What are you doing? You could have fought him a little more. Go for the plunge, go for the plunge! Oh my god! Happens. I mean, no, you shouldn't ult there. <laughs> Just wanted to know what I could have done better here. Here? I mean, there, don't ult there. Like, you miss? Okay, fine. But wasting your ult there when you're up two? I mean, I, ru I rush my ults a lot too. But, I mean, you just shouldn't ult there. Just the whole game in general? I mean, that's the point of this, no? Ready for a knockout? Oh, you didn't mean to land on the mini, I assume. I feel like the way you use your abilities is it's really not that bad. Like it's very like it's kind of how I would use my, the abilities most of the time. It's just the way you're using them, like your positioning kind of. And your target priority is pretty good too. I don't know, I have a feeling you're masters or GM. Oh my god. Why would he even take the Reaper off a of point? He's one he's about to kill his mon uh yeah, he's about to kill his monkey. Where your life weaver is actually just trolling. I mean this isn't really an ego it's not an ego vod. This is this game was close. It, was, it lasted 27 minutes. I, I tell people that to give me close games. So I don't really mind those 27 minutes, but yeah. It is what it is. Nice, good job. Good job. Oh. Okay, this is troll. And kinda lucky that he didn't get healed there. But you just didn't have abilities when you engage there. Like you gotta wait a little. You, you just engage when you're you don't have any abilities. Like if he doesn't die there, there's a very good chance that you just collapse and your team loses.
Random blocks. Yeah, I guess your your block usage doesn't need work. Like you need to be blocking sooner a lot. Like a lot of the time you just take way too much damage before you block. Oh yeah, and you are wasting your ult. Yeah, you need to you really need to save your ult more. Like there's no reason ult here. Uh, I, I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. I mean, if you look at how I play, I save my ult until I need it, it's like, so desperately. I was gonna make a TikTok of... Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll show you. I was gonna make a TikTok of, like, people commenting on my videos. Why did you wait 10 minutes to use your ult? And then just show them clips of me, like, waiting until the very last second to use my ult. Until I absolutely need to. And just, like, popping off because of it. There, there was this clip. Like, look at this. I Look how long I wait to use my ult here. Like, I'm just 1v1ing this monkey. This, I'm waiting for this tracer to come and assassinate me. I'm, that's why I'm not, like, fully blocking the monkey. Like, look how long I wait. I wait until the ve like, until I absolutely need to. Yeah. You wait till the last, like, you'll be surprised how much, how, how long, like, how, how many abilities you'll be able to get out. By just waiting, like, until the very last second all. And also, as you climb, you're gonna have tracers using their pulse on you, like, every single time. And just, like, it's so easy to pulse Doom. Um, and kill him. But if you wait for your ult, if you wait until, like, if you just save your ult, then it cancels out pulse with your ult, which is worth it. This is clearly favoritism. I've never seen you go into, in this depth with somebody, with someone. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, usually it's people just making the same mistakes over and over. I mean, he's using his abilities correct most of the time. It's just like the way he uses them. Like I said. Yeah, Doom ult is not good. You like almost never want to use it like aggressively. Unless you have like nano or something. Like if you use it aggressively, it's not good a lot. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you just shouldn't, you just shouldn't peek that. Like, they have to push it. Like, if you just don't peek, like, this is an awful window. Like, if you look at this window, it is god-awful. Like, just don't peek. You can literally just hide with your Reaper here. And if they push you, then they're just dead. So, I want to punch so bad, yeah. I mean, you really shouldn't be pe peeking window wh with punch like this, like, ever. So, I can see how you're, uh... Tempted. Here again, you need to wait for your abilities. You just go in without your ability. You need to like be more, be more mindful of your ability cooldown. Like this punch is fine if you have your other abilities. Like you just need to wait on this corner a little bit more and wait for your abilities to come back. Wow, you get saved by the tree. Kinda. Here? Why didn't you, like, back up? 
I guess you're trying to go in the tree, but I mean, it doesn't heal that much. Uh, actually, no, this is okay. Yeah, I mean, you just should. I mean, it's an unlucky slam, kinda. But you should use your punch to get out. I assume you're trying to, like, back into your team here. Yeah. Probably nothing you can do there. Oh, why do you go for this stuff? What's the point? And same with like the the beginning. You tried this like four times. You need to watch less get quick. Sorry, my bad. Tonight we will put them to rest. Cause free kill. Oh yeah. Free kill, you're right. <laughs> Bro, wait for your abilities. Bro, why, 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 why? Just wait for your abilities. You need to wait for it, like... Yeah. You just like int. You, too much inting. Like, yes, you get your... Like, you can literally just like... I mean, taking high ground here is fine. But you can also just like play this here. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess taking high ground is fine. But you just need to wait for your abilities to come back. Like, you could have waited for them to push, like, all the way, like, under to here. And this would have been a lot better, because then the payload wouldn't be, like, in the way. Or they're pushed up, and you might be able to get a punch here, if they're not paying attention. It's rare, but I usually at least make it out. Oh, you're talking about the start spot? Yeah. I mean, you're just like so deep in their spawn. What happened here? You just... Floppy recontest, I assume, from your whole team. You could have slammed. I mean, you, you pretty much lose this, but you can try. If you would have slammed like the three, you would have got like a lot more health. You, you're so low. Just back up. So low and anti. This life we are. Oh my, you just cancelled two ults with one punch! One punch, man! Here, you could have gone for the punch. You could have gone for this punch. It's like only Cassidy looking at you. Yeah, I mean, this punch would be juicy.
You guys are just like staggering super hard. Here, why do you cancel your slam? I said something about this last uh, VOD review too. Like, just turn around and. Were you trying to B hop? Is that why? But even so, like, B hopping here it wouldn't be that good. Here. You're 1 HP? You, you're anteed? You need to turn around here. After. Like, you cancel it right at that last second. Like, it's lingering. You you could pro you would probably hit the sim here, I think. Yeah, you would. And probably the cast, too. And you would get more health. And I'll charge and damage. Why are you backing up so much? Why are you backing up so much? Stay, play on that corner. Good job, taking the high ground. Fine. <clears throat> What? Did you just teleport? What? What? What just happened? What happened? How did you teleport? What? Oh, you know what? I know why. I know why. It's because... It's because Slam. Slam goes through people, but then you just like ended up inside Ana. Wait. Hold. Anyway. Why are we watching a slow motion? Yeah. <clears throat> Reinhard. Okay, I better not see you fighting this Reinhardt. I believe in you. I believe in you. Don't fight the Reinhardt. You need to take the high ground. No sleep. Take the high ground. Okay, you're 1 HP. Get healed first. Oh my god, not this again. Sim is in time. Nice. What? This is me? I just like... I mean, you're going for the punch on this Hanzo here. But you're not gonna kill him, because there's just no wall here. I would just use my wall- or my punch to like take space. I would punch like right on top of this thing. And just sit here. And then they'll probably back up. Or this Hanzo is getting like pinched. See what you do here. Oh, you backed up actually. That is so lucky. Let's go. I mean, yeah, you should just use your punch to get out there, but you somehow got there on a... You, like, thread the needle somehow. I feel like you need to respect the enemy support ults more. You're just like always peeking window, you're just brawling when Brig is ulting. You need to respect these things more. Like it, at the very least, go for your punch like onto the bap from here, not just like from the main where she, he's shooting everyone else.
Did we get bored of one trick from Doom? Uh, I mean, I don't play that much anymore. But, well, I mean, I guess over the past few days I have been playing quite a bit. I mean, the only- I don't really get bored, it just gets, like, tiring. Cause I'm just playing against, like, I just have to play around, like, ten counters every game. I can only do that so much, it's, like, mentally taxing. He has wasted so many- so many ults here. And not waste, because you calf, but like... Bro, who is he gripping? This guy is not grippy at all. Here you need to be taking high ground. You need to be taking high ground. You need to be... Here, here, or here. I'm Bastion now. GG. Not really. I mean, Bastion's really not that hard for Doom. You just need to be mindful of when he sets up. Like, this is perfect. He's setting up way too early. Nice. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, I would just go in there. Just go in! You're calling! I would- I would be like slammed over here. You need to like... I mean, yeah. I would be slamming there. You need to press W when they- when you call. Bro, the, the one inch grip. I mean, you need to like, create an off angle there. They just all focus... You just make it so easy for them, because they only have to look at one angle. Um... Yeah. I mean... It's it's rough. They just had like so many more... I mean... Well actually, they only had Ursul, but... Ursul's pretty good. Um, how could you have played this differently? I, I mean, you need to be set up on the high ground here. You set up on the high ground, then you can like force abilities, you can punch them in. Yeah. That's kind of rough though. Yeah, I mean, your life weaver is trolling the whole game, so... Unfortunate, but... You, you did, you did pretty well. You did pretty well. There, um, uh, I mean, mostly... Your issues, just like, making sure you have abilities when you go in. Like, you go in with abilities, and then when you re-engage, you aren't paying attention to your ability cooldowns, and then you just int. So, well, I hope that helped. It's like an hour of water view, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, what rank are you? I think, I think Masters. I think Masters. Yeah, and use your ult a lot more conservatively. Actually, I think this is GM. I peak Masters 5 this season, now Diamond 2. Really? Bro, we, we VOD reviewed a GM team the other way, the other day. It was so much worse. I don't... <laughs> like, I could not believe that that guy was GM. Or, well, I, he peaked GM. But, yeah. I mean, you use your abilities pretty well. You just need to like stop inting. Don't stop going for DPS Doom rollouts. <laughs> yeah, you're. It's really not that bad. You just need to int a little less, and save your ult like a lot more. You just you waste your ult like literally every time. I don't think you had a single good ult. Do you upload the vods anywhere on my second channel? I do. I don't upload every VOD, but this VOD, I might. 